Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> <laughs> Blasphemous HD, and today we're here to try not to laugh. Now, you guys already know the rules. Lego. Just finishing Jonathan Franzen's book. You know, I'll admit it has its moments, but it's completely overrated. I mean, I'm not saying I wrote something similar to it several years ago, but I am saying. <laughs> what, 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 hey, what are you doing? Hey! 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 hey what? Push him down no. on the off What are you doing? Really I don't want to do this. Now put your pinky in his spot. <laughs> 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 All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. <laughs> Bruh, that is legitimately how I feel about situations like that. Some females, they be trying dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they be trying to put, like, fingers, pinkies, and butts, or whatever, whatever they be doing. I don't know. I ain't never run into that shit. Luckily enough for me, but I have the same response that Stewie had if I ever do run into that. Just let women know out there. Try this shit with me. You're liable to just lose the whole finger. And I have very little remorse when I feel like you made me do it. The Persian birds next door. Hey, tweet, tweet. Check out my expensive fountain. Dad, look. You built a great birdhouse, son. I'm real proud of you. Thanks, Dad. No! What just happened? What was that thing? I don't know. Some kind of super bird. Or maybe an average bird who bought a Bowflex. Well, that's super... <laughs> oh, man. I need a Bowflex. <laughs> oh. Super bird ruined everything! Indeed. A force to be reckoned with. Now, if you want. What? Huh? Want to go to hell, that's fine. But don't drag the rest of us down with you like a mentally handicapped rooster. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Good night, everybody! Man, look at that Steve Buscemi. Every one of his teeth is in business for itself. You know, Steve. The art director's job is never an easy one. That's right, Scarlet. But this year... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the Elton John party. What the hell? I told you we were staying for the governor's ball. And I told you, Tim, we would see how the evening plays out. Contraband check. What are these? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I, 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 I don't know how they got there. Well, I think you do know. No, no, uh, it, uh, Der uh, Derek was in here earlier. He was uh, making the beds. He probably put them... Uh, I, I was in the john. <laughs> ah, 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 you guys are Nazis, man! You're freaking Nazis! Ah! Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> it's only so funny because I've run into a ton of people who, even though I've caught them in the lie, they keep attempting the lie. So where is it that you need to go, my new honky friend? Rhode Island. That's not too far, is it? Nothing's too far away from Maxine the Cheating Queen. Women. That's not fair. I'm just speaking out of her. Man, I, I just got out of one of those. Where you speak from her? You mad? Yeah? You know what the person did wasn't really bad. But you still mad because you didn't like what they did? So you just swear to God that they're terrible people even though you know they're not. I that truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! That's literally, that's like white privilege incarnate. He doesn't even recognize the threat. Where did those guys all get matching white sheets from? And why are they driving so aggressively at us? Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah! 
You can't hurt anyone anymore. Luckily enough for me, I haven't run into any vaginas that make me shoot at it. At least not yet. <laughs> so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm going to take a hike. Don't do drugs, kids. Now perhaps some young gentleman would like to light me up? Allow me. So, uh, what's, uh, what's going on? You ever get freaky with that thing or what? Now where was I? He only said what we were all thinking, legitimately. <laughs> so, you ever been penetrated through that, or...? Oh, yeah. Ah! Dad! Get away from me! Uh -oh. Dad! Oh, oh, Peter's fried! I'm coming to get you! Peter's fried! I'm coming to get you! Here comes Peter's fried! I'm coming to get you! Oh, in the kitchen, Meg! Hey, Meg. Proud of you. In my life, I've been getting revenge on my enemies the wrong way. Instead of being nice to them and putting boogers on them like I should have been doing, I've just been like talking crap or maybe even, you know what I mean, grabbing the girlfriend's boob once or twice. You know what I mean? Like I've been doing it wrong. Next dude that makes me really mad, I'm gonna start putting boogers on his ass in front of women. That ought to teach him or probably get me shot, actually. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Hey, Chris, you think it's safe to drink from a fire hose? Why not, Dad? It's just water. All right, we'll turn it on. I'm very thirsty. <laughs> nice job, Chris. You got my shirt wet. Ah! All right, everybody. It's shearing time. First, I'm first. Shear me. I'm ready to be sheared. Uh, look, I don't want to do this. No, no, no. no. It's, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's all good. Well, you're not going to do no, that I, thing. I'm, no, I'm not going to do that thing. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shear it. Shear me. Shear that goddamn shit off me. Yeah, I thought yeah. you said you weren't gonna I, be I doing am, that I am, I am. I'm just, I'm doing a bit. I'm just doing a bit, that's all. Uh, it's all good, alright? Okay, just go. Do it, right. do it. Right. Oh, yeah, fuck. Shear my ass, bitch. Yeah, make me naked. Make me a naked... Skin sheep. Yeah, run that thing all over my ass. Yeah. Okay, I'm not doing this. Well, come on, dude. What, what's no, your problem? I'm not gonna do it. You're freaking me out. You can't stop. You're like halfway done. I man. don't care. You can't leave me halfway sheared. Shorn. Halfway shorn. You can't do that. Come on, dude. Don't be a douche. Uh. Okay. Fine. But I swear to God, it's, if you, you keep doing. I'm not I doing won't. It. I promise. I'm not doing relax. It. It's. It's all, all right. good now. It's all good. All right. Oh. F oh my God. Yeah. Oh, shear me the f up. Yeah, I'm so hard right now. Shit. Got a big cotton boner. <laughs> Me with that thing. Fucking, fucking shear my asshole. Shear around my fucking asshole. Shove that thing up my ass. Stick it up my ass immediately. Stick me up the ass with that! Shear me up the ass! Do it! I'm done. What? I'm done. What the f***? You're not right in the head. I'm done. You jerk! I thought we were friends! I thought we were friends. Any dude out there who's ever gotten half of a bloken knows what this sheep is going through. That's real. Not to say that I've ever gotten half a bloken. Never even a little bit of a bloken. I don't even... I'm gonna edit all of this out. This is not good for the... We're moving on. Moving on. Damn that mother I'm fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. That little rat looking thing just got ate.
damn, nature! You scary! Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! Ah, 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 ah. Shh! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Eh, what's up, Doc? Now, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk, it's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Uh, hi. Did you also get caught trying to vote in Ohio? Now we go talk about that. Well, this is it. Meg gets out of jail today. Already? Seems like just yesterday we rented a room to that fly that wants to leave but can't figure it out. Okay, now where now? No, right it's, there. It's, I'm having right, some trouble here. It's right there. It's right in front of you. Oh, okay, no, I, I can hear you. Volume's not a problem. I'm just not quite seeing okay. what you're referring then to there. Then fly, fly out the uh, window. Up here, just, maybe? No. Is it, is it, uh, up, no, that's left. not it. That's just more no. wall. How many eyes do you have? Uh, huh? What, how just many? two, same number as you, but, yeah, like, you know, I'm, then, I'm just... Just go. I'm not oh getting my God, it. Whatever it is you're driving at, I'm just apparently not getting it. So I'm just going to go back upstairs. I'm home. Bitches now. Okay. Meg, you look so different. How is prison? First question, who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> my house now, bitch. Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. For God's sake, Dad, have some humility. It'll save your life. There better be beer in the fridge. Boy, I liked her better when she was more predictable. Like this. Now, what's messed up is I've seen this clip. Didn't remember the beatings to be this brutal. Doc photos on a corporate website. I'm a woman in a lab coat wearing goggles staring intently at a beaker that I'm holding. Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. Ah! You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! Meg, honey, I did all your laundry. Oh my god, what is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting! No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, uh, God, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh, my God, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. God, that's Meg Griffin. She just got out of prison. Hey, Meg, what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, what happened? Did you get out early for fat behavior? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. Did you get your butt hair braided, too, while you were in there? <laughs> you see how she's not paying attention to any of them? I literally just went through this, like, two days ago. I had three of my own fans, and I can't even really say fans. They tried to jump me, yo. They really did. It was at the skating rink, and it, it was hilarious, to, to say the least. 
because my childhood going to public school I was a nerdy dude and people you know oh he talks white because you know I was good at math and science and I was smart and got good grades so this is the type of stuff that I went through all the time and I used to be quiet about it you just let it happen and it just got worse and worse and worse I noticed that even the losers like even the people who were getting picked on started joining in so I started noticing people wouldn't mess with people who fought and I couldn't fight so I had to learn you know, by getting in the fights and losing until I stopped losing. And you know what I mean? And this is, this is what I had to do. They tried to jump me, the dude, uh, the, the leader or whatever, he jumped, and it was, it was a skating rink. I'm skating around the skating rink. Dude jumped out on the skating rink with his peoples and literally tried to football tackle me like he was a hockey player, yo. I mean, I had to do what I had to do. I ain't punch him or nothing, cause you know, we had a skating rink, you know, there's kids and all this other stuff. I checked the shit out of homie though, like, lean down, bah! I hit this dude so hard, yo, he literally came up off his feet and onto his back. Like, in front of his people and in front of everybody. I just kept going like it didn't happen. They was playing cat daddy. I was getting it. But... You know, that's that's the type of stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to say it, it was the right, perfect answer, you know, to to being assaulted. The guy came after me like twice with him and his two people. There's three of them. And it's funny, too, because it all ended on a positive note because, you know, I realized like, yo, like even though, you know, I, I can't blame these guys for being dumbasses. I can't blame these three guys for being so stupid that they think that they should assault me, you know, because uh, I'm known on the internet and that I won't kiss their anuses. I, I, I can't blame people for being idiots. So at the end, you know, I went up and I apologized to all three of them after I'd given them all a taste. Well, the main, I'd given the leader a taste, you know, like put him on his ass like twice after he came after me and then kind of talked to all three of them right in their face like literally about this far away like it's uh it was a learning it was a learning situation it was and you know in the end after everything was said and done after they assaulted me twice like they tried to jump me on the skating rink twice while i was wearing skates and skating and you know i i had a nice face-to-face -face talk with all three of them about you know what are y'all doing? This is stupid. Y'all literally just beating yourselves. Because I'll tell you right now, your two homies that had your back, they didn't have your back. Neither one of them helped you. You know what I mean? Like the two times I took dude off of his off of his feet on the skating rink, like, you know, just, just completely took him out. His homies didn't help. They just, they stood by and watched him on the ground. I'm like, I don't know what you think is gonna happen if you escalate this situation, but you're j it's just gonna not be good for either one of us to tell you the truth. But me, I care less. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't care. I care a whole lot less. A lot of people might think like, oh man, that's crazy. I can't believe you do that. And you know, oh man, you're violent, you're crazy, you're all of this other crazy stuff. That stuff is more than likely true. You know, even though I'm, I'm not a hothead, you know, but I'm, I am gonna defend myself. That's one of the harshest lessons I learned as a kid is that you dictate how people treat you. And if you let people come at you sideways and you know, trying to do grimy stuff to you and push you around and all this other stuff, other people gonna see that. Next thing you know, you're gonna be the, you know, you're gonna be the, the male slash female of the entire establishment. You know what I mean? Whenever I go to the skating rink, I'm gonna have to deal, whenever I go there, I'm gonna have to deal with, you know, people trying me. And I don't wanna have to do that. I wanna skate and have fun. So, you know, had to possibly bruise a dude's ribs. He'd be all right. You know what I mean? You walk it off. He acted like he was tough enough. Any kids out there, man, you getting bullied or whatever, man, you, you know, no, don't use a knife or a gun or no weapons or nothing, you know what I mean? Like, go learn some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You might have to break a dude's arm, but I bet you he'll leave you alone. That's real. Uh, what'd you do? You carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Ha <laughs> ha, pee you. <laughs> hey, Meg, are you going to take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? I can tell you from first-hand experience, this works. Look, I've done this before, Meg. Not recently, but when I was in 
junior high, I had to do this in front of a whole class of people. Like it was if I had to take out a football player. Yep, had to take him out. And I started it. <laughs> yep. Peter, Meg's. I don't really know about the whole kissing part at the end, but I'll tell you one thing nobody ever messed with him or her again. But yo, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is not in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed some of the advice I gave too, man. Yeah, I mean, but just don't, like, don't use weapons or guns and stuff like that. Don't, like, try to really kill anyone. If you got to, you know, take a pipe wrench to school, break his kneecap. You know, same exact message, except less jail time.